<laughs> and wrapping those gifts with all of the boxes and bows. How does the Grinch put it? Red wrapping in boxes and bows. You're on your own on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh, well, but, joining us today is Adina Anderson of Creative Lifestyles with Adina, and she is showing us how to wrap a present perfectly. That's right. Yes. <laughs> There's a few tips. It's easier than you think. It's all about the technique that you do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you want to start with your bow there. Fiona's and already got her picks in. Hopefully David Sears is watching this because he was talking about the bag just now. It's like, no, no, we're, we're going for the, the, the real thing, right, David? Yes, so watch David, yes. So. And so we talked about the debate with the wrapping while she's doing her bow over there. You remembering my tips? Yes. You start, pinch and twist, it over, pinch and twist. And then you're just going to pinch. <laughs> Okay, and then you're gonna twist. You want your glittery stuff to stay on the outside, so Got that's it. why you twist. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna put one little um, loop in the middle, and then Got you it. have four loops on each side. Got it. And this is the, the, the ribbon wire. with the, the wire on each side, which not only you said makes the, the, the bows look better, but, but it's easier to poof it. Okay. <laughs> it's all about the poofing. <laughs> and unlike the satin ribbon, when you try and tie that, sometimes that'll rip. Yes, it yeah. will. It will. And it just doesn't look as pretty, I don't think. I think this looks prettier. Okay. Um, and now with the wrapping, I, I kind of taught you something. All right. So, <laughs> always do a nice little hem yes. on, on the edge. And I was one time watching a show, and it said, and you want to do this bottom side up to start off. Mm -hmm. And they said to do the hem right there along the edge and then go in like that. But no. you say no. No, you put the hem in the middle so that when you put your ribbon around it, it hides your hem. So you have a seamless package. Okay, so we're going to go like this. You go like that and put and that in. And then and you got to make sure it's right in the center for your ribbon to go. Okay, let me do it this way. And I'm going to back it up. Okay. <laughs> and, and you have tape somewhere there, Mike. You can tape it if you'd like. Okay. And we come up like this. How's okay, your bow so. coming, Fiona? I, I, I'm I not quite sure. I've got one, two, three. And don't worry ah, about poofing ah, it until the end. Got it. So when oh, I do it, I don't just worry about I just poofing it the end. Yeah, poof don't worry about poofing end. it till the end. Okay. Now, you just kind of do that and that. Okay. While you're poofing bows <laughs> over there, <laughs> now the next question is about doing the ends. And there's always the debate. Do you come in from, from the, sides. the sides first or go... I like to come in from yeah. the sides. I think it makes a, a prettier finished product at okay. the end. Um, so, it's, it's, you know, you have your, your seam still down the middle instead of right. on the sides so, and things like so that. Come like that. Yes. Bring this side in here. And believe it or not, the expert over here. So I'd start <laughs> whipping tape on here right now. She does not. You just take this. Because you may have to shift it a little bit if it's not perfectly. Now, I also seam my sides on the outside of the box. So yeah. You have, so you, you, uh -huh, you do that. You do that. Yep. Okay. And then you put a hem on this one too, right? You can put a hem on that one. All right. And you're just gonna flip it over for right now, so that you can, you can perfectly do your other so side. You're just so you're doing... not worried about that one yet. Now, of course, all so bets. So now it's easier to work on. All bets are off if it's not a perfectly square box. That's yeah. a whole Not necessarily because, I, like this, what I have going on here with the basket. Yeah. You can just put things in here. Put your picks in here. Add your bow. This is a fun little travel basket I did. You can see all these fun little. And some of this I'm giving away. We're going to talk about that later. But um, you know, like the bonfire here, the city bonfires. Look, we should probably light this as cool as it is out here. We have our own little bonfire going on. But you know, we have some travel things here and maybe you don't want to wrap all of that. You want to give it like a little travel basket or like the little dog foods we have here by Jeans, the little yeah. treats, which my dogs love. They're all natural, they're great. You can put that in a stocking for the dog so that they can dig into it right away. Maybe they don't want to unwrap. See now, you got to pull your steam a little in there, Mike, on the top. Oh, this? Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> and you don't like, you said to use because I would think I don't the, like double the stick. ultimate would be the double stick on yeah, tape. A lot of people do that because, you you know, okay. you wouldn't see it. Um, but like the magic tape, as long as you press it really good, you're not going to see that either. And I just think it's easier to work with. And glue dots, too. Glue dots mm -hmm. are, yeah, that's right. We were talking about that. Glue dots are really great as well if you don't want to show the tape. Um, I'm not big on the tape because you're going to hide it with your ribbon anyways and with all your picks and things like that. Ah. How's your bow going? Um, <laughs> well, you should probably go a little slower than, than, <laughs> than I what did. you're doing. Okay, <laughs> I, I, this is a rush job. Never so wrap when there's a producer I just need to fix it. in your ear I just need to fix it. Sometimes. I just need yeah. to fix it. And all you're going to do, Fiona, is yeah. once you got that done, just uh -huh. hot glue that onto your package, hot glue your picks on there, 
put it all together hot and you have glue. the perfect yeah, everything I'm thinking on about there. the hot glue because it all holds together. And and again, so if I were to do the ribbon on here yeah, now. Yeah, and I would use, now this is another tip. Depending on the size of your package, you need to know what size ribbon to use. See, I would use a thicker ribbon because that's a bigger package. Whereas like the little package I have there, yeah. I would use a thinner ribbon. And I when I have this? a package that's long like that, I put the bow at the top instead of the middle. Oh, so you, look how pretty Fiona did. Look at you. Yes. Wow. And if you missed it earlier, it's so easy. I'm going to take these 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 picks out. Okay, so there it is. There's your your ribbon and your bow. But mm -hmm. if you just have you know these picks, you can just slide them in there, and you've just taken that present up to I know. an incredible notch. So, right? <laughs> like, look at that. that. And that was so easy to slide them in. And now with this ribbon right here. I tie a knot. You do tie a knot. I tie in. a knot, okay. but I also go four. I go this way, loop okay. it, and then do the four. And then that's how you get your little pretty um, curly things on the end there. And I just use a thing of the decor paint to get to roll the okay. ribbon. All right. Well, we're going to finish okay. wrapping up here. And then also, <laughs> we've got another great craft. Adina's is going to come back a little bit later on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, something that, um, mm -hmm. I don't know if everybody has nowadays, but advent calendars. Yes. They are great, great little little kind of ways to get excited and, and lead up to uh, to Christmas. Yes. So, so that's more fun, of course, with Adina later in the show. But, of course, for more information on her, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.